hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, like and share. I be wondering sometimes, do they just like to lie? Do they like to hear themselves talk? Obviously, he was blatantly lying, dude. It's like he believed what he says. I don't get it, man. Something needs to change about our system, man. But all right, guys, enjoy the video. Okay, I'm being detained by this officer, U.S. Department of Interior Supervisor Chuck Hester, for parking my car here and refusing to ID because I've committed no crimes and I pled the uh, Fourth Amendment. And he's detaining me until he says until he gets in touch with my fiance who owns the car, who's actually in the hospital right now, to tell him that it's okay. okay. As soon as we find out that you're legal to, well, shouldn't you be the doing car? something besides standing here? And I'm, I'm being detained back. of my liberty to free movement. You can freely move about anymore. Oops. You just can't take the car until I can find out. It's he's detaining legal. my car. Because it's I refused the ID. Yeah, you're That's it. Partially parked in the roadway. So he's not well, to talk he told to me before it was okay for me to park this when the gate was closed. And the gate was closed when yes. I got here. He opened open it. And as soon as he said it wasn't okay, I proceeded down here to move my car. So now and he's... It's not your car. It's, uh, your, it's not your car. You've well, it is my that. car. She's my fiance. But we own no, this car it's, jointly. It's your fiance's car. If uh, it is your fiance. So as soon as we get word that it's, it's okay called? for you to be in the car... You'll be free to go. I forgot what this is called. A, st a statue where back with you there's a minute. law that's committed after the law's in effect. I forgot what it's called. But for some reason now he's uh, detained me because I refused to ID and I guess I hurt his feelings. And he's U.S. Park Ranger. I don't know his tag number. I do need you to stay forward in my car. Why can't I move back here? Stay forward in my car. Am I being detained? No, but I, you can't be walking all around. I'd like to see your tag number, please. I'll give you my tag number. I can't get it? 515292. Just step forward. 51... I follow any reasonable request. And obviously he's a little scared because I've got the ID. I think he's just hurt feelings. His name's Chuck Hester. And I'm being detained right now. You said I wasn't detained. I can move about freely. Why can't I move behind your vehicle? So I can only move forward. You can go in front of your car. Okay. So I am being detained. Is that a lawful order or is it a request? Okay. Well then I'm being detained. I'm not allowed to move freely. Because I'd like to proceed on the parkway. He said I could do it about my car. And when I tried to, he stopped me. The parkway is behind his vehicle. So I'm unlawfully being detained by this officer. A federal employee who doesn't obviously love the Constitution like most Americans do. One hand's holding this phone, the other hand I got out in plain sight, so he has no reason to fear me. He's just being an a-hole. I mean, this is one of our employees of the Federal Park System, the Department of Interior, which obviously has went to hell. I was kind of parked on the thing, but he said it wasn't illegal as long as the gate was closed. He came along about 10 minutes later and and uh, closed, opened the gate. Then it was uh, ex post facto. That's what it's called. Ex post facto. He made it illegal by opening the gate. And he won't let me move about freely, so I am de facto being detained because I'd like to proceed on the parkway but he's spoiled my day altogether he's deprived me of my liberty and uh, life liberty and pursuit of happiness he ain't deprived me of my life yet and I hope he doesn't
but he's being a total ass on a total dick right now because I invoked some civil liberties. How long is this going to take, sir? If it takes over half an hour, that's way illegal. And it's already been 20 minutes. Yes, a reasonable amount of time is what? I'm just asking what a reasonable amount of time is. Days, hours, weeks, what? Well, so he's going to keep me here for a damn week because he's being an ass of because I invoked some civil liberties. Our government at work. I'm sure he draws a paycheck. Got me over on the side of the road like a criminal. A law-abiding citizen. Just out for a nice day in the park. You know, it's not a nice day per se, but just harassed by a government official. Tell me, why are you harassing me? Can I have your supervisor come on the scene? Why not? I can request him. But he's you can request him. Go ahead, please. I'd like to know exactly what I did illegally that you're detaining me. I mean, you hit. Go ahead. And uh, what was... Let him finish. And what is his name? Your supervisor's name? Rick Wozniak. Rick Wozniak. Department of Interior, no, Blue Ridge Park. Excuse me? And here comes another car to humiliate me out here. Public humiliation, just because I invoked some civil liberties. The Department of Interior at work. Do you say the owner of the car is in the hospital? She is. Yeah. Well, she's actually in rehabilitation, but she's going back into the hospital. She's what? She was in it. She's in rehabilitation now. She's going back into the hospital. I'm not going to give you any information. You done been an asshole, so you want to do an investigation, you go ahead and do your damn investigation. I'm pissed off. Okay. I think that badge, and it does entitle you to harass people, but this is, this is uncalled for. This was not a crime until you opened that gate. You came up there, I exercised some civil liberties, you got upset, you got butt hurt. That's all it is, you being an asshole. And yeah, I'm upset, yeah. I'm not being very nice, but I'm not screaming, yelling, or jumping up and down. Standing here, fairly calmly. Just taking my medicine. The United States government at work. Constitution just thrown out the damn window. You don't have a seat you can provide for me to sit down, do you? What? You don't have a seat you can provide me to sit down, do you? I don't, but you can park the trunk and sit down in the little crevice over there. Any weapons back there with you? Nope, no weapons in this car whatsoever. Okay. Completely unarmed, at your mercy.
I'm now sitting in the car trunk. Both my legs are starting to hurt. I have to use the bathroom. Being illegally detained by this officer who got butt hurt because I invoked some civil liberties and my some constitutional rights. Trying not to make any suspicious moves because he's very scary. He's got his hand on his gun. Well, no, he don't either. He's got his hand down near his gun. When he's not speaking on the microphone. Chuck Hester, I think, was his name. Harassing citizens is his game. Cannot move freely in this park about him them harassing you. And this is the first time I've been harassed on the Blue Ridge Parkway. So it's just it's just very upsetting that we we had this built in the 30s and that we have a, a government like Russia that you can't make a damn move without them harassing. constitutional rights you got to exercise them or they get weak and this guy I've seen weak ass constitution so that's what he wants and maybe other citizens will just bow down and kiss his boots but I like to exercise my rights when I have to and in this case I had to Thanks. Thanks for having the police come on me. Good. Now, what are y'all doing here, if I may ask? I'm with the sheriff's office. I got a call to come assist. Come assist in what? That's all I know, sir. Now, here's another officer violating my constitutional rights. Well, another two officers. Actually, one almost hit the other one. He stopped too fast, and this officer almost ran into him. He had to pull to the side. Now he's blocking the parkway. So he's parking the... Uh, yep. Oh, he went by. This must be the slow officer. Oh, sorry. May I ask what I'm being detained for? Anybody? Anybody? Sergeant, may I ask what I'm being detained for? I don't know, brother. What's going on? You tell me. Well, I'm sitting here, being detained illegally. I don't know about all that. I guess we'll see. Man. Ah, Lord have mercy. U.S. Constitution must not exist in this area of the universe. Haywood County Sheriff Department. And Three separate cars out here, just because I exercise some civil liberties. Y'all hate civil liberties, don't you? Constitutional rights, y'all just hate constitutional rights. I'm asking this officer. He's not going to answer me because he can't. I do not hate the Constitution, sir. I'll tell you that. Well, shouldn't I have the liberty of life? Well, now, that's not in the Constitution. It's considered a constitutional right. Life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. I don't have liberty right now. 
I check the statute and make sure that everything's going to be good to go. You weren't driving the car when I saw you. No, but I'm going to be driving it when I leave. You're going to be driving it when you leave? Yes. Now, why was I detained? Because you told me that's not your car and you refused to give me ID. The car is partially... I told you it was not in my name. I didn't say it wasn't my car. I said it's not registered to me. I think it's you not asked if I was you registered. Asked if it's your car up there. Well, you, you might have not. asked you that. You said it's your fiance's car. Yes, it is my fiance's car. And at this time, we get a hold of her. She says that such and such is okay to drive my car. I'm not gonna get a hold of her. Okay. Simple as that. But why? Why would somebody have a right to drive their fiance's car if she gives permission? If she gives permission, yes. Well, then why, what what suspicion permission. do you have that she hasn't given me permission? Because you're being evasive. You're yes, I'm exercising civil liberties and constitutional that. rights. Why is that? Is. Why does that hurt your feelings? I don't know whose car you got. Well, I got my fiance. I, I told, I told you that like you ten or twelve times. Back when you went to. I had no right to deprive me of my liberty. I had no right whatsoever. I know that he's going to be quite more than over there, so it's not necessarily confusing, but. And this officer is standing in an aggressive position to my side, this one. which is a vulnerable position for them to take your life. He's over to the side, which is, I'm assuming, what they're taught and they ain't gonna harm someone. Which I've given no one any indication, I mean, anyone any harm. And so that's kind of scary. The county and government tax dollars at work. Constitution out the window. Back to a more neutral position now, thank goodness. I think because my head's turned. I'm looking at these officers over here. What's there? There's enough room for a vehicle to get by, but they're still kind of blocking bark the park there. All because I invoked some civil liberties. Okay. I've been making sure that I was within North Carolina state law, and you're not within federal law, though. You're a federal employee. But there, uh, we use North Carolina law for a lot of our traffic stuff. But this is on federal property, isn't it? It's. I'm. I'm not going to argue the concurrent. Well, I'm jurisdiction. just asking. I'm is not, this on federal property? You're on federal property, okay. but we run concurrent jurisdiction. They have just as much. Well, they didn't. Hurt, right. They to didn't stop. Talk to you. That's correct. They can talk as to me all they want. So, they haven't been saying a word this, to me at this time. Uh, you're, going to you're releasing me from detainment? I'm releasing you from detainment. Okay, you thank you, sir. Way. I will tell you that if anyone stops you while you're driving, you will have to provi provide uh, ID. So they're going to pull me over I'm not just saying to harass anything. me? I'm not going to say anything they're going to do. Y'all going to pull me over after I leave here? They're going to pull me over even if I'm obeying all laws just to harass me. I'm not going to tell you what anybody's going to do. Well, that's what you hinted at. No, it's not. No, he didn't. He didn't say it, but he hinted. He said, "If anybody pulls I don't me hint. over, I have to provide ID." If someone Which pulls is you correct. over for some reason, you if will. If you pull me over that for a lawful reason, I have to provide ID. You're right. So y'all gonna pull me over after I leave here? Well, I was going back at Parkway. Y'all gonna come to Parkway and follow me? Are you gonna break the law? I haven't never broke the law. Okay. I might have went over 55 well, a few times, know, but I'm a law-abiding law citizen. Do that I was here obeying, I mean, I was here within my lawful right. He even said there was no law violated. He detained me because I invoked some civil liberties and a constitutional right. 
As long as you don't break a law, I don't think anybody's going to pull you over. Well, you didn't pull me over. You detained me illegally. I don't you. I'm trying to find out. I want to look hard. But you're free to leave it this time. No, you got upset because I invoked some civil liberties. Okay, I'm going to try to turn around here and proceed up the parkway and proceed with my business. If that's okay with everyone. Is that okay? You're free to go. Okay. Well, I kind of... I guess I could... There's no place to turn around except right here. You're kind of in my way and they're kind of in my way. I, am definitely not your way I was going to back up and pull in there. That's the only pull off I see. You go up the road, do a legal turn, and come back. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get on the highway. You done told me they was gonna pull me over. I didn't. As soon as I did. Well, you, you, unless you break the law, they're unless and without actually saying that you said it. Let me put it that way. Oh, I wasn't gonna break no law. I'd be stupid to. I'd like to proceed up the parkway. There, I'm kind of blocked in right here. So. I'm in fear for my life from these people because he told me that these officers are going to start harassing me the minute I leave federal property. Uh, what is your name, officer? Name, I'm sorry, what? Your name. What is your name? What is your name? I'm not going to give my name. I was wanting your I'm name. I'm not going to give my name. You're not going to give me your sergeant's name either? No. So you're just going to be a total dick, huh? Sure. Okay, well. That makes you feel better. Let me. Hey! Whoa, 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 stop. I'd like the name of the officers for a report, please. I've never met them. You didn't get their name? I did not. You'd have to go through their dispatch. With you the didn't name. get the sergeant's name? I did not. Well, he's telling me he didn't get the sergeant's name, but... Okay, I'm scared to death.